Okay. I have this old photograph. So what I want to do is I want to uh, quadruple the size um, and I want to end up with um, a little bit of a restoration so something that's going to look like this. And to show that this is actually four times the area I've prepared a comparison. So let's start off with a new document. And resize this down a little bit. I want to take my original here and move it on over to the new document by clicking and dragging and dropping it on there. Okay. I'm gonna hide the one in the background. So, the first thing we need to do is make a duplicate of this because you never mess with the original. Okay, this is... And now we can increase the size of this by Command or Control T and hold the shift key down to constrain the proportions. Let's drag this out just a little bit more to a pretty good size. And that's a little bit larger than a factor of two, but I don't think it really matters that much. Hit enter to accept the changes. And uh, let's start off with um, making a duplicate of this. If you hold down the Option or Alt key and click and drag on your layer until you, you get the, those double arrows like that, you can get a duplicate of the layer. It's real simple. And to delete it, you can hold down the Alt or Option key and just hit the trash can if it's selected. Okay, the first thing we want to do with this is apply a blur. And if you've got a newer version of Photoshop, you want the surface blur. Otherwise, use a smart blur. And uh, I have settings here of a radius of 9 to start with. But you can play with this value. Uh, what you are going for is... good edge detail and taking care of what would be uh, the enlargement artifacts or blemishes and other things that might be in the image. And it really doesn't matter a whole lot but you do want to retain the edge detail and you'll see if you move the threshold up and it's going to whack it pretty good so you got to keep the threshold down that is pretty good. Okay, got good edge detail on the eye, on the highlights, the line, all the lines on the face, a s nice edge with good contrast. Alright, looking pretty good. Now you can want to take this to a high pass filter. Now high pass is pretty tricky. Um, if you go way high you get this sort of effect. Ideally you want to start around the square root of 2 which is about 1.4. Okay, and what this is going to do is just punch up the lines a little bit. You want just enough detail. 
because too much is going to um, over effect the image and actually change what it looks like and I will show you a pretty cool trick you can do with this in a little bit so go ahead and accept that now we take this and apply uh, start with an overlay blend mode now we see that this is going to sharpen the details just a little bit see what happens when I toggle this on and off you've got a little bit of blurring because of the enlargement uh, when I apply the effect it sharpens up the focus a good bit. You've got good detail all around the edges where you know the hair is in the original and the lines are nice and straight and everything like that so we're good. Um, the next thing we want to do is increase the contrast a little bit so we'll go to levels and take down the darks just a hair because we have a little gap here in the levels and if there's no detail down here there's no point in this little setting to be that low um, we're trying to compress the image a little bit and bring the um, brights in a little bit to punch up the highlights just a hair and then we're going to take the midtones up yeah. in brightness. And you notice I'm moving towards the dark. We're creating more light in the image because there is more light between midtone and light than there is between midtone and dark. Okay, so we're expanding this range and compressing this range to give this kind of an nice old flavor let's colorize this a little bit we can do that easily by creating a gradient map now you want to start with the black to white gradient here and I want to sepia tone this a little bit so I'm going to add another stop right about in here and we're going to take this in to about 30 percent hue which is halfway between red and yellow and I want to bring this up right up into here just a little bit pretty good uh, maybe adjust the levels a little bit more uh, take down the darks a little bit increase the contrast bring up the lights just a little bit and the midtones are looking pretty good. Just increase the lightness a little bit. And there you have it.